Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone. We're in our previous episode, our adventures, well, uh, Blaze and Ryan went, went to the black market and met with Shavit Doth and some stuff went down there, mostly just talking and stuff, but they saw a few things. Then they went back to Isidore's and our other adventures, Ailrandal, Farron, and Lazarus. Uh, we're speaking with Isidore about what happened to the King of Avranches, what happened to Avranches, and what happened to Summer's Ill. And stuff that may be happening in the city right now. Uh, so, when we last left our adventures, Isidore was able to begin the ritual to revive the King of Avranches. And Lazarus was going to stay put to protect uh, them in case anything happened. And the rest of the adventures were going to uh, try to find Beast Snack or Torian. So, what would you guys like to do? Uh, who's all going with me again? The I four were... of you. Yeah. Oh, Ryan is yeah. too? Okay. Uh, I think uh, really no time to dilly dally. Uh, Paradise Inn's not that far, right? No, it's probably like a. 10 minute block. Alright, yeah. Um, I just, uh, I'll leave Lovecraft with, uh, Lazarus. And then, uh, yeah, I just, like, turn, I'm like, uh, uh make haste! And then, um, uh, rush off. I take off all the clothes, by the way. It's kind of <laughs> okay. hot out there. Okay. Yeah. I wear my normal outfit instead. It's pretty late at night, actually. So you might want to... Oh, I'll keep, I'll keep the overcoat. I'll keep the overcoat. And, and, uh, and, the, and the lime green bowler hat. But uh, the the scarf I don't need. Are you sure you wanted to leave Lazarus? I'm mean, not Lazarus. Yeah. Trapped with me? Why? Why would I? I'm pretty sure he hates me. <laughs> yeah, he has the wolf's paw necklace. I know, uh, but you were there when we did our trust falls. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. We're the four like Lazarus, Ryan, Lovecraft, and I are so tight. Now, <laughs> you guys don't even understand. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'll leave Lovecraft. The extra protection would be nice. Plus, if you get stressed out, he makes a good stress relieving cuddle dog. <laughs> He's going to be the one that's stressed out. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, no, uh, make the haste, and uh, I'll lean on because I I want to. I, I know where to go. So, all right, I'm your Google Maps. Ow. Turn left in five hundred meters. Make a U-turn. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Please U-turn. Take a U-turn at the nearest exit. Oh uh, yeah, so you make so you make your way to the Paradise Inn, and uh, you open the door, and you see quite a few people just like hanging around the dining area that's there. And you do see in one corner, just sitting alone, is a dwarf with right now, uh, right now with I think green hair, and he's just eating alone. <clears throat> Green hair. Yeah. Do you have like a little like chart so I can tell? Because I would have spoken to him before, so I feel like I should know what his hair means. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have to find that chart. I obviously got blue is sad. Uh, He's looking like a snack. <laughs> <laughs> a beast snack. Yeah, probably. Probably looks like Manic the Hedgehog. Shut up. <laughs> That was your last chance. One more, and you're you're done. You're just out of the group. <laughs> all shit on Sonic. Already so have so many like Sonic references. I hate Sonic. <laughs> is Green jealous? Hey, he's great. Uh, I've got a great. Green is here, nauseous. I, think, uh, I thought it was jealousy. I don't know. Because they that color of jealousy is green. Green with envy. That's why, like, whenever I did poem, uh, uh, deciphering, they'd be like, green eyed would be like, she's a jealous girl. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sweet roll. What'd you roll? That's how, you, that's how I'm gonna roll my dice from now on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the most ultimate roll is when you actually swallow your die, and then you just wait <laughs> <laughs> a day or so, and then. <laughs> and that 20 comes out. <laughs> Uh, okay, I cannot find it right now, so, uh, oh. we'll say, uh, no, uh, his beard is purple, which you assume is content. Content. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna walk up, and I'll be like, Beastack, my guy! Uh, as you approach, you see that he looks at you, and his eyes go wide, and, like, he smiles, and then his beard goes, uh, Yellow for like happiness, 
and the excitement to see you. Uh, I embrace him. Yeah. He embraces back. I pull what a cool out. dude. Yeah. What a touching re- reunion. Yeah. How have you been, my man? It's been so long. Uh, he kind of just signals, like, all right, all right. And he said, he, he kind of motions, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, originally, uh, ooh, guys, ooh, one second, one second. Should we tell them about everything, or? Well, I don't know this guy. <laughs> yeah. I know you don't, but I trust him. But if you don't want me to, I won't tell him about the king or anything. Uh, look, if I'd you trust him, then yeah. We'll I have an in. excellent well, judge of well, character. We just need to know how to get to the depths, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. so just that. ask him. Mm-hmm. We came for you, actually, b Snap. We came for you. <laughs> you seem <laughs> surprised at this. <laughs> I need your help, His old friend. Red uh, we need to get to the depths. Uh, he kind of... When you see the depths, he starts to shake his head. B-snack, B-snack, please. And he's starting to look, his beard is now whitish blue. Color and, which you assume means that he's kind of worried now. Yeah, but uh, no, I, I'm like, B-snack, please, please, B-snack. Uh, you don't have to come in with us. We just need a way there. It's very important. Okay, good team. But uh, B-snack, we have to get there. It's important. He'll nod his head and say, and kind of Signal, when do you want to go? Soon as possible, be snack We're kind of on a time crunch. Like, tonight? Like, he kind of says, like, now or something. Or do you guys think we'd be ready to go tonight? I just want to say, a guy who doesn't talk is really bad for an audio-based podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We got gotcha. you. It's all good. Just uh, keep making motion yeah. hand signals at the audience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to explain his motion of hands. Because he gonna uh, edit <laughs> hand shadow puppets into the nice. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no, I am like uh, B Snack says we can go as soon as tonight, if need be. Uh well you might want to wait for the king. Oh the king should be ready by that time. How long is he cooking for? <laughs> uh, okay. Is this the same tavern we were in last time? Uh I don't think so, no. Dang. I believe we were in the in and out. Yeah. Yeah. No, but we were going to stay there, but we never made it because we found the family and then we left that night. But we were at an actual tavern. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you were in the... Was it the dice one? Wasn't it the outer yeah. No, the outer but... was on the other side from yeah. where you guys were going to stay. Uh-huh. That's uh, right. I'll see which one this was. So I can at least find that. I think. Oh, I think this is the silver... It was the Silver Dragon Ale House you're at, I think. Okay. Mm. So not the same one. No. Hello. I, I don't think it really matters. Yeah. Well, it's just at the other one. There was a quest that I was going to do next time oh. I came back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the kid. But yeah. <clears throat> he's probably dead by now anyway, so. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, Beast Snack, um, we'll go tonight. Tonight's, that works for everybody. Yeah, that works for me. I don't see an issue. Why not? We just make sure we grab Lazarus, your little dog thing, and uh, make sure the king is okay. Yeah. He's snack, meet us at Isidora's. Shut up. He'll nod his head and, well, he'll just, like, motion, should I just come with you guys? You don't need to get anything? Uh, well, I've just had, he, mo- <laughs> 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 my <laughs> god! He motions his plate and, he, like, you see that it's, like, his food is all finished and his wine is just finished. Just his toothbrush. Just make him talk in sign language. Oh yeah, I guess. Well, I don't could, actually. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you don't yeah, really know sign language. He signs yeah. this. But do, yeah. Do I know sign language? But you guys know sign language though. Well, Blaze obviously knows how to talk to him. No. No, not really. Because <laughs> well, most of the time, <laughs> okay, well, commu- he's communicated through either drawing or writing oh. or like putting like illusions on the wall. Uh, I pull out from my bag of holding a pad of paper and one of my quills, and I say, uh. You should make it easy on yourself. This one's for you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. He writes. <laughs> <laughs> on the table. <laughs> okay, uh, and I say, fine, you're coming with us. Uh, we gotta go revive... Oop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just come with us, we'll explain it when we're there. Of course. He writes. <laughs> and then as we walk, I'll just talk to him. Okay. Asking me, like, oh, how's the family? Where have you been? What have you been up to? Uh, when you ask him how's his family, he's he looks kind of sad because uh, I think he probably told you about this before, but that he 
like his family when he was born kind of uh, just tossed him out and left him because he couldn't talk. Just bring that, bring that up. Yeah. No, it was supposed to be me just making co- like I make small talk. It wasn't supposed to be. I bring up bad <laughs> memories. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but no, I, I just, I chat, I ask him what he's been up to. Like, why, why, actually, no, I ask him, I'm like, why don't you want to go to the depths? Uh, he just, like, puts an illusion on a nearby wall of, like, a lot of demon-type beings and devil-type beings. Since when have you been afraid of a little risk? He mo- he writes a long time, pretty much since I was born. That's fair, uh... I guess we're made of a different cloth, you and I. But, uh, listen, you don't have to come in with this man. I just need you to get us in there. And then, uh, you're the only one I know who knows to get there, so. Uh, he writes, depending on what it seems like, I might come along. Just, it's all this nice stuff, people around. It's good to see you, too. Uh, but yeah, we'll make our way back to East the Doors with the snack then. Okay. Unless you guys want to stop. Do we want to do anything? Why? I have nothing I want to do. What? But, uh, there's nothing else, right, guys? We should probably just head back, uh, fix up the old bastard, and then, uh, <laughs> head on out. Sounds good. <sighs> sure. I suppose. Yeah, let's... Okay, I'll go back to your Lazarus right now. Because, uh, was there anything specific you were doing? Like, were you looking out windows? Were you just guarding the door or what? Oh, uh, you're all alone. <laughs> I'm just kind of... I have a chair set up next to the window, and I'm just looking outside periodically. <laughs> Every time someone crosses by, get off my lawn. <laughs> Passing time. Okay, just keeping watch. Yeah. You're going to okay. paint a picture of the dead king? <laughs> <laughs> Try not to, because your friends will set it on fire. <laughs> I'm just staring at Lovecraft while farming my uh, old spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Lovecraft has kind of just walked to the uh, one of the other rooms and it's just laying in this corner. Try not to look at you. And while you're keeping watch, you do you notice, uh, you pretty much just notice all the same things you're noticing before, which was that lots of, again, lots of guards, lots of shop dogs people, groups of homeless people or poor, poorer people. Uh, at one point, you do see the handlebar master of two flame with the goatee. Is he looking at the house? He seemed to look at it for about a minute, but then just walked on after. He couldn't see through any windows. Yeah. So. Okay. You should go talk to him. No, I don't, I don't do anything. <laughs> okay, uh, there's nothing else really that you see. And uh, eventually these guys too come back with a companion. A dwarf with a colorful, colorful beard and hair. And... Uh, I assume you open the door for them? I'll open the door and actually get inside. Okay, uh, they come inside, and just a few minutes later, uh, you hear Isidore and, like, stop chanting, and then you hear a gasp, which you assume comes from the king, like, <gasps> like a deep, br- deep breath to, like, catch his breath or whatever. Okay. I'll rush into the room and see what's going on. Okay, you see that the king has... Sat up in bed and is just panting, panting really hard and is trying to catch his breath. And he looks really visibly confused. Welcome back to the land of the living. Uh, he can't even speak right now just because of what he's gone through. Neither can be snack. <laughs> <laughs> and as Dora looks back and sees you guys are back with Beast Snack. And she kind of just says hello to Beast Snack and Beast Snack waves back and... They're happy to see each other. So what should we say to the king? <laughs> the king is like, what? What happened? Where am I? Who? Wh- 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 What's his name again? Uh, King Alan. Alan. <laughs> king Alan, I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alan. Wait, Alan. No, that, that's, my God. That's the still speak to him. Oh, that's the still speak. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He's like I super know. confused now. <laughs> I actually only wrote Cochran's name down. All right. Maybe I didn't even say it. I don't think so. I think no, it's just the king. Uh, his name is King Ulysses. Nice. Mm, sure. Ulysses? Oh. Yeah. Uh, Yuli! Yuli! My guy! <laughs> don't don't panic. Don't panic. You died. <laughs> I, I 
I died? Like, what, what, what happened? What happened? Well, you got attacked by the Shardana. Who are the Shardana? Let, let me finish, buddy. Let me finish. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get to it. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, these this invasion uh, occurred uh, as we were making our way back to Stillsby. Uh, and they just appeared out of nowhere with movement magic. They attacked uh, Vranches. You guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Crude, I'm gonna be real honest. You dropped the ball. You guys really dropped the ball. How how is everyone like? Did everyone is, are they alive? I honestly I can't tell you. Uh, they got transported through a giant portal after the leader of the Shardana, Artemis, uh, killed you as you attempted to crawl away. Oh yeah, okay. I remember that. Okay, I okay. tried to okay. save okay. you. Okay. I think it's safe to assume that they're alive. You were there. <laughs> you you threw a marble. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? You what? I had him right where I wanted him. <laughs> but they're kind of dead, too. <laughs> yeah. Same board as you, buddy. <laughs> but uh, I think I think it's safe to assume that they're not dead, but they're definitely gone for now. That's where we're going, though. We're going to go get them back. Okay. Uh, do you know where they're at? Are you heading somewhere? We're going. Who's, who's this guy? And he points to Beast Snack. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that wasn't from you guys before. That's Beast Snack. That's my friend. And pointing is rude. Yeah, pointing is rude. He, he doesn't like point like with two faint with a finger, but he like just motions uh. towards. <laughs> Motioning towards people is rude. Uh, but no, uh, that's Beast Snack. He's going to be our guide, and we're going to the depths. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, and uh, you're coming with us. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, so when the going gets tough and you have I to mean, save your kingdom, you're going to bounce? No, I'd love to, but I just don't know what I can actually yeah, do. Well, I got a room full of chests to get back to. <laughs> so. uh, I sent you guys to Summer Sail, didn't I? Yeah, same boat as that Runch is now. Really? Abandoned. Shit. Uh... And you're pretty sure just the Shardana again? Yeah, uh, okay. evidence would assume so. Uh, you saw the invasion to Avranches? Yeah, we we watched it. Okay, Aylin and Dell participated. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, do you know where the Shardana could be headed? The depths. Okay, yes, yes, you said that, okay, yeah. But yeah. Uh, Aylin and Del's convinced, I don't know why, but he's <laughs> convinced we have to go to Maul. That's where Artemis is. Do you want to go to Artemis, or do you want to save all the innocent people who are in the depths? I, I stay silent. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, but yeah, yeah listen. Uh, we're going to make our way to the depths. We're going to try and fix this shit, Baco, <laughs> that has occurred. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and we figured we probably should just leave you dead or anything. Thank, thanks for reviving me. For reviving me. Thank you yeah. so much. I do expect a full refund. <laughs> of course, of course. Once we get back to our branches, I'll pay you all so much. Even I'll pay you with a sack of thousand gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where did my thousand gold coins go? What do you uh, What does he have in his pocket right now? <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I say. So, what's the, what's your plan though? We're we're making our way there. B snacks gonna guide us. What are you gonna do? Uh, I. Okay, let me just think about this for a second. Uh, I'm just okay. A, one. I'm oh, awesome. That, Time's I'm up, buddy. Lot, I'm taking a lot in in the last like two minutes. So just give me a second. Uh, oh, where are we right now? We're in Stillsby. I should probably Stilsby. mention that there's oh, a pending revolution. <laughs> <laughs> you see, is he just just doesn't know what to say about that? And he's uh, uh is Cochrane okay? I don't know. Great. I haven't heard from that uh, guy in a while. He's probably dead. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say, Baron. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you know what this revolution is about? Oh, uh, the way Shavada put it is, things are unfair, poor people are mad. <laughs> okay. I will talk with, the, with King Alan about trying to fix what's happening here. Excellent. That sounds good. Uh... <laughs> I I don't know I don't know if I can help you in any other way from here because I don't really have anything at my disposal. I can try to get some stuff from the King, from King Allen to help possibly. Yeah, you probably got a little more influence than we yeah. do in the terms of uh, 
things. Yeah. Uh, is there anything I should try to help you with to do? Uh, we kind of took some stuff from Abranches, so if we could get a free pass for that. Of course. Uh, sure. Sure, sure. Thanks. Yeah, I just want to clear. Me. I want to clear my chest. You know, I felt real guilty about it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Roll deception. What? <laughs> God damn it! You God. asked for that. You and your big mouth, Cleveland. Stupid fuck. You didn't even have to tell him about. It. <laughs> Sixteen. You see them. Sixteen. Eleven. Life is so sweet. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I'm like, listen, you go to King Allen. Uh. Maybe to take a drink of water. You've been dead for a while. You're probably parched. But uh, we're going to go. And uh, is there any way we can communicate with each other? Uh, I can... There's these things called Rocky Talkies. They, uh, I, they return. If I give you one and I take the other, then we can communicate through any distance possible. Where are they? Uh, I'm going to see if I can get one from King Allen. What is it on? Fido? Or? <laughs> yeah, should we go to the castle then? With him? Sure, yeah. And then we can visit Cochrane. Hey, we can visit Cochrane. And we can tell the king about the impending doom. Yeah. And <laughs> well, then, he knows. And then we can quell the proletariat uprising. <laughs> that was a big word. I'm really <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, okay. You know what? Change pl- the change plans. You guys cool? We're going to go get the Rocky Talkies. I think it's important to keep, uh, when we're in the depths, it's good to keep a line between us and people who aren't in the depths. 20 bucks says it won't work in the depths. But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with cell reception these days, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> like, you go into the tunnel, there's no signal, you just lose your connection, mm-hmm. and you can no longer talk to your mom, and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so you guys are heading out to the castle? <laughs> I had a hard day at school today, mom. <laughs> <laughs> she, always, she always seems to lose connection to me, no matter where I am. It's like, I'm like, hey, I'm having a really tough time in school right now. She's like, oh, shh, can't hear you. And it's like, I don't know what's up with her phone, but you know. I think your mom doesn't like you. Mm, I think it's just because we're telling us. So anyways, <laughs> uh, you guys are heading to the castle? Yeah. The king will ask Isidore if there are any clothes that he could wear that would like kind of hide his identity. Because it's, it's not a great thing for a king to be just walking out in public. Especially when there's a revolution happening. Today is your lucky day. I happen to have a freak. I just got this disguise. And I handed the zebra overcoat, the black scarf, and the lime green bowler hat. But listen, I want that hat back. Of course. I'm done with it. That's my hat. Are you wearing one of the other, other hats right now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the kid will be like, that's my hat. Yeah, you were dead. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> because you've revived me, feel free. Uh, so I should give him the drunkard's hat. I tip the hat. <laughs> uh, so, you'll put on the zebra overcoat, and this is just my size. It's <laughs> perfect. I also want that back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this king <a> disappointed. <laughs> I mean, you guys did just revive him. So. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know. But, uh, yeah, I say, uh, let, let, let's make our way. Be snack, you cool? Come into the castle? He nods his head. And he... Puts an image of another, like, zebra overcoat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only have one, man. <laughs> Nods his, hair in, his head in resignation. Okay. Uh, so you guys make your way to the castle, and uh, you get to the gates, and, like, the king isn't noticed on the way there, and then you make it to the gates, and the king takes off his disguise, and it's like, I am King Ulysses. Uh, can we talk to King Alan right now? And the guards will nod and just let you guys in. Uh, so then uh, they'll lead you to the throne room where King Alan is right now. And right now he's there alone. He doesn't have any audience or anything like that. Uh, he'll greet you guys. Uh, Blaze, Ryan, Elrendal, Fern, Lazarus, right? Lovecraft! <laughs> and I told you who, who is this fellow here? The ear dwarf, dwarf companion. That's B Snack. He's with us. B Snack. Uh, it's great to meet you. Odd name, but. <laughs> who uh, fucking asked you, man? <laughs> What's the, does the middle finger just. <laughs> <laughs> Read this, bitch. <laughs> it's because his name is actually, actually Torian. Yeah. He was just given the name Beastnack from, like, Travelers, because he was, like, just 
aba- abandoned by everyone and left to be eaten by beasts, so that's why. Alright, yeah, 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 I mean, come on, Torian or Beastman? <laughs> I know which one I'm calling. <laughs> Beastman. Yeah, so, uh, Keen Allen will be like, uh, I was told you guys wanted to speak with me about something. We did? Actually, there's several topics we should probably cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, so where should we start? Oh, well, for starters, uh, your people aren't very happy with you. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> Maybe you should do something about that. I don't know what I can do about it. Like give them what they want. All the the only thing they want is money, and I can only give away so much money. Well, that's fair. Come to a compromise. You're a king. You're supposed to know how to lead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Never mind, I should just let him talk. Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, probably don't need to talk about the revolution. You kind of probably got that one figured out, I'm willing to bet. I'm uh, working on it, yeah. Yeah. G- good job so far, really. Um, but uh, uh, what was the other topic we needed to cover? Rocky Talkies. Rocky talkies. Uh, we need Rocky Talkies. Uh, King Alan will also add in. Uh, I mean, King Ulysses will add in. This is on me, so if there's any cost, it's to me. And can I well send in scar to get some for you? Well, to get a pair of them for you guys. Can we get like a whole bunch so we can all have one? Uh, because they're like pretty rare. Dang. Uh, it'll only be two. We could unfortunately only grab six. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's the perfect amount. No. <laughs> uh, you'll see. So ask. No, Alan will. Alan will ask. What do you need this for? Uh, if you're talking to each other yet. <laughs> Shut up, Ryan! <laughs> Shut up, Ryan! Um, he, he's just starting to like glare at you whenever you talk. Listen, to. He, he he's not exactly the most charismatic guy, but he means well. He means well. Uh, this guy's just a fucking idiot. We're going to uh, we're gonna save the world. To sum it up. I mean, you're probably next. Actually, that sounded so mad. wow, <laughs> you're next. <laughs> probably next. <laughs> I mean, they're going after big cities, so. Uh, who was going after? The Shardana. Who are they? They are a... Uh, a bad people. <laughs> I'm not sure what they are. All we know is that they've been using teleportation magic to attack kingdoms and take all the residents to the depths and killing the kings. So, you better watch out. That sounded like a threat. I did not mean it that way. <laughs> you start to glare at you as well. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> you just threatened them. I did not threaten them! No, no yeah, question. next. <laughs> 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 uh, and you think they're coming here? Probably. How big is their army? Bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we just. <laughs> the king will then say, uh, well, once the Rocky Talkers come, he'll say, I think it's time you guys leave. I think I had better discuss some um, stuff with the king Ulysses here. Maybe he can teach you a thing or two. About you should leave. We uh, we also spent a thousand gold on getting the diamonds. Why is that important? <laughs> so can, can you pay us back. Well, well, Ulysses will do that later. Actually, yeah. Can you give us some money? <laughs> you know, we'll be like, no. I think I've helped you enough. You guys. You should, you should probably get on your way. Yeah, Thank you for your gracious hospitality, but <laughs> looks we like, should go. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we have an uprising to take care of for you. <laughs> I sure hope Cochrane's safe in this shitty kingdom, and I leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm also just gonna you, leave. You see, like, his blood begin to boil as he just stares at you. <laughs> and he kind of motions his guards to, like, take you guys out. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know where the exit is, buddy. <laughs> Watch your backs! You'll yell on the way out. I turn around, watch yours! <laughs> well, I walk out calmly. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Baron. Yeah. I'm walking. Okay. Oh. Uh, Alright. fucking ate that guy. <laughs> 33. He's kind of a bigot, isn't it? He starts spinning all fire lyrics at him. You <laughs> burn him down to ash. <laughs> Well, we he walked in there and fucking nailed it. Yeah. And you guys also noticed that when you guys were like going back and forth at him, Torin's uh, hair was like, uh, whatever color scared would be. Probably uh, white. Or yeah. Yeah, white would be good. Yeah. I think. Yeah, white. 
Be <laughs> snack. When it comes to politicians, you gotta be up front and forward. Trust me. Uh, he's just flabbergasted. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that wasn't a politician. That was the bloody king. Yeah. Well, I've never really respected authority, especially when they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's an idiot. So uh, I say we disguise ourselves as beggars and go and find out the leader for uh, the uprising so we can talk to him. We have more pressing matters. But I want to do this. Just to rub it in this king's face (laughs) that he can't do shit. I know you want to one-up the guy. but (laughs) I I know, it's not about one-upping, it's just he's an idiot. And um, actually, maybe this uprising is a good thing. <laughs> so, like, it is are a you good thing. This to them? Oh yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I feel like we should probably not poke our noses in this. You know, I bet you we could get Shavada to help us out too. Why are you so fond of that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to understand why. At least he's smart. He's got a kid slave army now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> you didn't see the slave kids? No, I didn't. There's a whole slave ring down there. There's kids. There's fucking grown-ups. All right, well, maybe this whole city should just burn to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I honestly, you're probably right. <laughs> this place is kind of shitty. Uh, but listen, we can stay and fix the revolution. Seems like unnecessary issue for us. This we place sh- doesn't owe us anything. Well, I think what you meant to say was we don't owe this place anything. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the city owes us like six hundred and fifty gold pieces the worth of diamonds. The grammatical response you were looking for was not that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, listen, we have like the world to save. I feel like we should just get to the depths. Uh, Torn will like motion somehow or write down. Are you guys wanting to help with the revolution? Yes. But after no. that altercation yes, no. with the king, it's like, do we really want to help him, or do we, do we want to Ooh. overthrow him? Well, I think we should overthrow him. Um, fuck him, but... Be sack nods. Yeah. Like, he oh, agrees. you don't like this guy? No. Oh, he fuck yeah. Shit! What a turn of events! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm down! <laughs> Be snack jumps off a bridge, so does Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Be snack will then motion. D- uh, do you guys want me to bring you to Zix Crazier, the leader? What happens when we <laughs> over- bring him up now? <laughs> 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 Absolutely, we do. What happens when we overthrow this place and the Shardana show up? Oh, not our problem. I think we should go he to the desk. He an illusion on a wall of the King of the Monsters. <laughs> With a crown on his head. Huh. Really? Kind of saying that maybe he could be the king. Him and... I mean, Avranches doesn't need governing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I turn to Vsnack, I'm like, Vsnack, he's already a king. The city's already there. Yeah, there's no people, but he's still a king of Avranches. And he also puts an image of Cochrane mm-hmm. up beside mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, I didn't know you were so into politics. <laughs> He throws a lot about crepes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's put it to a team vote. Who wants to partake in the revolution? Yes. <laughs> I say no. Pond in the <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Torian also votes yeah, for Torian yes. Would put his hand up. I'm against this. This is not worth our time. I just don't want to go looking for a fight. It doesn't seem fun. Well, we need to go to the deaths. <laughs> this doesn't seem safe. <laughs> Well, it seems we're tied, and, uh... Pretty sure it's not tied, because Lovecraft is a Lovecraft is a tiebreaker. So, I will need a decision on this. Uh, uh, I think we should totally do it. I think we should, I think we should do it. It'd be fucking amazing. Fair is against a, this. Out of character, do you guys think we should do the revolution? Because I think that'd be fucking funny to rub it in King Alan's face. <laughs> I think it'd be amazing, yeah. Out of character... Yeah, but Farron, no. Uh, yeah, that's the same for me. Like, out of character, I mean, like, yeah, we, to- we totes could, but I think Aaron okay, wants well, this to is a role player there. game, so yeah. you can make your character do anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my character is Ark, I think well, he we wants should... to go to the depths. And then your character's playing you. You're but playing your character. At the same time, in your head. if we do overthrow <laughs> King Alan, we would have an entire army to take with us down to the depths. Hey, Lurdell, uh... Do you want to go down there, just the five of us, and get shit kicked by uh, the Shardana? <laughs> or do you want to take the Steelsby army with us when we go down there and shit kick them instead? Because you want to kill them, right? Last time you did that, 
Not gonna lie, didn't go your way. You I mean, died. I'm here, am I? <laughs> not, not one piece, buddy. Um, listen, we should take care of this problem so we can go down there with better resources to increase our chance of success. It's basic math. Yeah, but that's gonna take a lot of time. Not really. The king doesn't look like he really knows what he's doing at the time. I think we'd be able to handle that quite fine. Isn't he also under Shabadaw's Yeah, time? yeah. You assume so? Would Shabadaw be upset? Yeah. Probably. He's like the, yeah. yeah. And he's a child slave trafficker, so yeah. that's cool. Honestly, um, Ryan, I kind of want to kill him. Shabadaw? Yeah, I'm feeling a whim here where I want to just <laughs> put a knife in him. All right, well, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So we're in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put my paw in. I put Lovecraft <laughs> on top of mine. I'm like, everyone put your hands in. Uh, I'm in as long as I don't have to kill anybody. You've made a compelling argument. I will join the cause. Yes. Viva la resistance! <laughs> <laughs> Let them eat cake. Fine, but let's get this over with. You know what they say? Ah, Red so be. Ah, yeah, dude. <laughs> and Farron, can I do a perception check? How, uh, 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 character development. Page, quick question. I actually have no idea why he's uh, this. That's a 19. Days? I know exactly. You what he's recognize doing. a man with horns just around the corner. And he sees you. And you saw him about two weeks ago, I think. It's around that time. He saw him on Silsby. And he kind of gives you a wink and motions like. Four. <laughs> and that is still where we will end this episode of Nat 20. Oh, ass.